thing when the first eight years can happens if they pick the google and your resume it increases your chances uh, for your resume shortlisting the topics they may ask is strings and basic dp questions in the easier interview but you can go for cs es problem set Hi all, this is Yashika. So today in this video, we'll be discussing about Google Step Internship Program, which is open for all second-year students who are currently enrolled in bachelor's program. Now the applications are open till the 18th January 2024. To better understand about the application process of this program and the interview process, I have invited a previous Step Intern. We'll be guiding you all regarding uh, the internship process. How she applied to internship program, uh, what all interview was rounds were there, and finally how she got selected. After interning at Google, she uh, got a pre-placement internship opportunity as well. So we'll be discussing about all these things in detail in this video. So stay tuned, watch it till the end, and after that, do apply to this application. Hi Kajal. Uh, first of all, thanks a lot for coming to my YouTube video to guide our juniors regarding the step internship at Google. So uh, many of uh, our audience might know you, but for those who don't know you, could you give a brief intro about yourself? First of all, thank you so much for inviting me here, Yashika. I am Kajal Kaushal. I am a final year student studying at Triple IIT Allahabad, and I have done a six months fellowship at the SSSN Medical Program conducted by DE Shaw. I am a full stack man developer. and from the point of view of my experience i have done a step internship in google and have then got a ppi and have also done a sve internship there okay great kajal you have a great experience uh, indeed we we'll get a great learning from you today so uh, let's start uh, discussing about the application process of uh, step internship uh, before that uh, could you tell us uh, how did you apply to this internship uh, like what was that on campus or off campus the yeah, i had applied through the off campus through the google careers pages and i advise you that if you are applying off campus to apply it with your referral and a quick tip that i want to give is that do apply on the first day itself if you are applying it on off campus basis reason being the applications are on the rolling basis as mentioned on the official side of step that the people who applied first will get the preference over the people who are apply later oh great thanks for this information i think most of us might uh, skip these kind of information and could you guide our audience about taking a referral so basically i applied it without the referral on the first day itself but for the people now i'll definitely recommend uh, to apply with the referral only because it increases your chances of getting shortlisted hugely uh, for getting the referral you may contact uh, people who are full time employees uh, on the linkedin itself just brief up about your introduction what all you have done your any project and do link your resume drive link uh, with the message and definitely people will be uh, able to give you the referral for the same Okay, great. Thanks for this information, Kajal. Now, uh, moving ahead to the application process. So, uh, what all steps were there in the application? Uh, what all things you had to go through uh, during the application of Step Internship Program? All right. So, basically, uh, through the application process, they just Uh, require some sort of basic information about you, your legal name, as mentioned on the documents, and then your resume. That's all. They don't ask any sort of questions, uh, any sort of essays out there. And if you apply through the referral, then the people, then the person giving you referral gives you the link, and you apply through that only. And then the further application was that the first was the resume shortlisting, and then. Uh, people then i had the two interviews 45 minutes each each having entirely based on dsa but few people also got a telephonic screening that is after your resume shortlisting you got a telephone uh, from the google um, itself and they ask you basic questions about the strings about the arrays and which language do you prefer and then go with the interviews for the people who apply on campus they have an additional online assessment round that is first their resume is got shortlisted then the oa happens and then they go with the interview process So as you mentioned that in the application process they just uh, shortlist you on the basis of your resume so could you guide our audience a bit about what should be there in our resumes and uh, what did you have in your resume that you think potentially would have helped you get shortlisted for this opportunity Uh, yes sure basically from the resume point of view i will mention that first of all choose a good template try to make your resume from the on the overleaf itself uh, using proper font colors and do not include any picture of yours and always try to stick to a single page resume first of all and then since step interns are from the second year they might not have many things to add into their resume but just thinking from the perspective that you are applying for google step intern 
So try to make your resume a little company specific. From that, I means is that if you have been part of any of the Google competitions, let's say Google Coding Solution, Google Kickstart, or Google Code Jam for Women IO, or any sort of contests that Google uh, takes, or any sort of programs like the V program by Google, do mention all of those in your resume. Because I think when the first ATS scan happens, if they pick the Google in your resume, it increases your chances uh, for your resume shortlisting. Right. The, another thing I want to add is that you must include any hackathons you have participated uh, or any contests you have given. Uh, do add your profile link. Uh, if you have got so-and-so rank, do add your profile link, whether it's lead code, interview, bit code, forces or code chef. And do make sure uh, that you add your LinkedIn profile as well. And for another thing that is, since people won't have any experience to add in their resume, do add a good project in your resume and try to include uh, the, it's GitHub, uh, GitHub project link in your resume, which redirects to your code days that you have written. So these are the important things that you should take care while you are right, uh, while you are preparing your resume before sending your application out. Okay, thanks a lot uh, for the information, Kajal. Now, uh, as you also mentioned that uh, if you apply it on campus, then they might have an online assessment round. Do you have any idea about this online assessment round? Uh, yes, I had its discussion with one of my junior. Uh, she basically told that for the online assessment round, they basically have two questions, and one level, one question's level is around easy to medium, and the other one is difficult, and it's of duration one hour. Now, uh, moving ahead, uh, after getting shortlisted uh, with resumes and online assessment, then we move on to the interview uh, round. So, could you guide us more about the interview round, like what kind of questions were asked, uh, what was the duration? And all that stuff right so basically for the interview there were two interviews of uh, 45 minutes each entirely based on dsa and if the google is not satisfied with two of your interviews they might conduct a third one as well i had only two but few of my friends had three interviews as well and got selected so the number of questions in the, each interview can range from one to three on the basis of that how much time you are taking to attempt the question or what is the difficulty of the problem if it is a little difficult question, then you might be able to do only one question in the interview. But it starts with easy to medium and then build up, then you might go to three questions as well. And the topics they may ask are uh, arrays, strings, and basic DP questions in the easier interview. Basically, two interviews are there. One is a bit easier than the another one, generally, which I have also faced and my other friends have also been. So the in the difficult interview, they might ask you DP questions, graph questions, or they might go up to the hard string question as well. Like for me, I had one hard string question uh, in my first interview, and I only did the first question only one question and in the second interview i the questions were from easy to medium level so the builder up and the questions were related so i did three questions and wrote the code for the three questions in the second interview yes and the another thing that i want to add is that uh, they do not give any specific ide on which you will be writing your code so uh, they give you google docs so it's important that you take care of the identification and also practice writing the code on the doc great thanks for the information uh so you mentioned that uh, some hard topics could be asked. Uh, so uh, could you guide a little about the preparation of these topics, like those who are just in their second year? Um, sure. So basically for those aspects, I will say that uh, First of all, for the graph specifically, you go with the theory first that what all algorithms are there and basically the BFS, DFS and the shortest path algorithms uh, will be the major questions which will be from and the another one is the topo topological sort. And you first go with the theory first and then you practice the standard questions that might be asked and there will be little variation of that in the interviews, right? So uh, for me, I practiced it from the interview bit. I've gone through the array strings and the DP basic DP and basic graphs from there. And you can go on lead code as well. You just uh, select the uh, question tags and do the standard basic questions first. And then you can increase your level and go to medium to hard level. And another resource that I want to mention is that you can go for CSES problem set. Uh, you can just check it on, over the internet and they have uh, around 20 questions for DP and which are the good standard questions and similarly for graph as well. And you can practice those questions as well to cover your at least theory and the standard questions. And then you can just practice over that. And another thing that you can do is do give the contests whether on lead code whether on code forces code chef which platform you prefer basically it will help you to think and form the approach of the question in a timely manner which will really help you in your interviews oh great thanks kajal 
for this much information. Uh, we have talked a lot about technical stuff. Uh, could you tell us uh, that what role does uh, effective communication plays in the selection process? Right. So I feel the communication skills are really, really important. It matters how clearly and proficiently you are able to put forward your thoughts and approaches about the questions. Right. So uh, basically, you first try to go with the brute force. Right. And then you tell the optimized solution. This is how you should approach. And the important thing is think out loud. You would listen this in every possible interview, in every possible uh, YouTube podcast that you should think out loud. And that is really important. Uh, reason being the communication is the only uh, most important bridge that you and your interview have. If you will be able to convey your thoughts, then only the interview will be able to process that. Yes, you are thinking in the right direction. And what is your thought process? So, yes, it does play an important role. Now, after giving uh, these two interviews, after how long did you get the result? So uh, it took around three weeks uh, for me to get the results, but it generally takes uh, two to four weeks to get the result off campus. I guess in the on campus, the process is faster. Right. So uh, concluding this uh, whole application and getting selected, a uh, few tips that you can give to the upcoming uh, uh, applicants who are applying for the step in township. All right. So basically, uh, the thing is that First of all, uh, they are going to assess you on your thought process, on your problem solving skills. So make sure that when the uh, interviewer is asking you, the, uh, stating you the question, you must clear your doubts. You, if you have any questions about the edge cases, do communicate, do ask them and do think out loud. If your, your communication skills are really, really important, you should put forward your thoughts clearly to them. And uh, the thing that I said earlier, uh, just frame your answer in a good pattern. Just go with the brute, so, brute force first, then go with the optimal my solution and do mention the time and space complexities of every approach you tell this will be a good way whether asked by the interviewer or not you should tell the time complexities and you should not be wrong in that thing like your complexities should be perfectly fine and you should build up the solution well yes and do think about the edge cases and do talk about them with your interviewer and yes that's and the another thing other tip is that do practice on uh, writing the code on the doc it's really important uh, they um, they expect you to have the good indentation and also use meaningful variable names when you're writing the code and uh, that's the basic reason that they are not giving you an ide so do practice about that as well great thanks a lot for the information tajal i hope uh, many students will get uh, learnings from your journey and this would help a lot of applicants who will be applying this year uh, just uh, towards the end of this video uh, we would like to know that uh, how was your experience as in step and turn that was really really amazing i really had the fun uh, during my step internship like it's second year and you will be owning and you will be doing the work in the corporate world and google has really good culture and the best thing is their inclusivity they make sure that person feels included in the team and people are really, really supportive. They really help you. Uh, like for me also, I had the meetings with my co-host every single day. Any doubts I have, they definitely uh, clear that. They definitely communicate that. Being uh, my step internship was remote, but I never felt like that I'm missing on anything. We also, along with the work, they really had these fun meetings as well. Every Friday, 4 p.m., we used to play the games with the teams. And also the another thing is we also, um, Google also tried to, accumulate all the interns as well so we have all interns meeting as well playing the games the escape room was one of the game i remember and it was really fun to do with all the interns and another thing about uh, google experience was it was really full of learnings you know like you just you are just out in second year you little you you might feel little overwhelming that it's it's my second year of college and i'm doing a corporate uh, work but people are really really helpful and supportive so you won't feel um, any corner or you won't feel any difficulty difficulty you will just build it up and you will be able to solve the quest uh, solve the tasks uh, and uh, do your best there and um, for my experience i was really lucky i got uh, an opportunity to go visit the bangalore office for one week as well my team was very very welcoming we had a team meet people from pune hyderabad us had came to bangalore office so we interns had also got the chance there and yes they showered with us goodies as well and yes i cherish those moments it was really amazing and full of learning it, uh, i think uh, listening to all these things uh, people will get more motivated to uh, work hard and get this internship opportunity uh, towards the end we would like to know that uh, you had a great in internship in uh, experience uh, but uh, some tips for the people who will be interning this year that how they could also get ppi opportunities that is keep 
pre placement internship opportunity that you got all right so for those aspects i'll say that um they really want that you focus on the documentation so basically try to maintain a doc with yourself uh, in which you basically jot down what all you have done every day and share it with your co-host your mentor or your and your manager so that all of you are on the same page and you and that document will also help uh, your mentor and manager to assess what you are doing every day and what all you have done weekly instead and also it will help you when you are writing your mid term eval or your a uh, final uh, final internship week plan week review basically so the one thing is that the another thing i would add up to is that uh, when you are discussing the queries uh, with your mentor with your team members try to be very specific about that and do uh, the research beforehand so basically if you have any query try to write down it in the document and then write what approach you have thought if you have two approaches if you are confused which approach to go with then do mention all of those things and then share it with the team member whom you are asking so that you and the another person are on the same page and it makes very it makes the query really clear to you as well and the another person as well so it will really help you if you maintain good documentation in google during your internship and the rest is just fun just explore the office and you'll enjoy a lot there so this was the whole experience of kajal so uh, thanks again for joining us today uh, i also uh, add the link of the linkedin profile of kajal in the description of this video so that you people can connect with her and uh, if you have any further queries you can just go and connect with her i'm sure she'll be more than happy to help you guys uh, thanks again kajal for coming here and uh, guiding us for this opportunity it was really fun chatting with you and i wish all the best to the people who are going to apply this year all the best for your interviews prepare well and do your best and do not have any regrets thank you so much bye 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 bye